everyone, and it's Chiri here, and I have another scrapbook process video for Bramble Fox. Um, this time I'm using the October Fox Box, and I'm also using the Fox Cut Stencil Number 70 AM Paper Snips Number 42, and they all have a very autumnal feel about them. And I think, I think autumn is probably my favourite month, favourite month, favourite season, and um, I'm loving scrapbooking those sort of, well, last year's autumn photos. So um, I have pulled out um, the Simple Stories Harvest Market again. I used it for my first layout this month, but it is just perfect. So um, I've got this pan paper background I'm going to go with, and I love the the, the corner, the floral corner piece. Um, and I'm just playing around here, laying on um, the elements that I want to use. So I have um, Life's a Hoot, which is a perfect title for my photo because you can see there's myself and some friends with um, a scarecrow. We were visiting a pumpkin patch while away on a week-long scrapbooking um, holiday. So um, I thought it's perfect. And I had that very cute little scarecrow um, ephemera that came was part of the collection. Um, Simple Stories collection. Um, I thought, right, I can use that one with this. So I've got the Lysa Hoop perspective down. I've got those super cute little wooden owls that also come with the fox box. There's four of those. And um, and then I'm also using some of the phrase bars as well. They're truly blessed, picture perfect and heartwarming moments. Um, okay, so I sort of placed it all down. I brought in the other floral corner piece at the top. I would fussy cut it from um, his smaller pattern paper um, previously. So I, I decided I needed to balance that. And then I'm bringing in the fox cut stencil now this one comes with the fox box plus subscription um, you get the added stencil and the added paper snips with the fox box plus and i'm just adding a little bit of detail here i'm using distress oxide in carved pumpkin with my um, ink blending tool but actually what i should have done is use the mini blending brushes that you can get at bramble fox because they just they're just better when there's a lot of small small detail with the stencil and i do actually come back in and um use the um smaller brushes just to add a little bit more detail plus i added couple of little extra like the leaves um, into a couple of areas. Okay so I'm now getting the top corner stuck down um, just sort of layering up the pieces here. I'm using the heartwarming moments at the top along with that cute little owl and um, and then I can start to work and build on the main cluster below. Happy with that. And there we go. I can get my photo in there. So you can see I've just added that sort of stenciling detail just to give it a little bit, a little bit more interest in that sort of um, background. Um, because I'm again I'm creating a bit of a, I guess, a sort of diagonal um design. There you go. I'm just adding in. I've brought in the little blending brush here, which I should have done to start with. Um, but I'm just adding in um a, I think it was an extra leaf, and I'm just going to go over some of it um there. So and I'm doing the same, yeah, down the bottom. Okay, um, and then I'm going to start working on building up the um, bottom cluster with my ephemera and um, perspectives and the little wooden owls as well. So I mount my photo, just figuring out um, pattern paper that I'm going to mount it with. So I'm going to use, I pull out, I think I end up, yeah, this pinky sort of deep pink colour here, but it's not quite big enough. So I'm going to piece a little bit into that missing part at the corner there, which is fine because, to be honest, it mostly gets covered by the time I add the sort of embellishments in that bottom corner there. So I'm just going to tuck that in. So and because it's just mounting a photo, it's absolutely fine. You don't notice the sort of join at all. Um, then once I've got that in place, you could, I could really start to sort of build up and work out where I want to have everything um, placed. But I do love, um, as I said earlier, I do love autumn and it's it feels it's just that really sort of cosy season, I think. Um, I love all the colours that go with it, the deeper oranges, the mustards, the teals, um, just those sort of, you know, you come out of summer, which is very bright and tropical colours, and then you move into that autumn and it's a really nice to have that change. So I've really, really loved um, sort of starting to work with um, these autumn themed perspectives and colours again. So um, in that photo, 
as I said, it was about a pumpkin patch. It was really fun, actually. Um, I go away each year with, there's eight of us that go away um, and we hire a lovely uh, sort of old barn and we have loads of room to scrapbook and we have a whole week there. We scrapbook, um, we eat, we drink cocktails in the hot tub as well, go for walks. And it's just really, really lovely just spending time with like-minded people, really. And there, and um, we decided we'd go out and find, we found a pumpkin patch fairly local. And I tell you, I don't know what they must have thought when eight grown ladies turned up to this pumpkin patch going mad for like photos. Can you take a photo of all of us? They must have thought, my goodness me, what, what on earth are they doing? But we had lots of fun. We took lots of photos. Um, and yeah, so nice to look back on that from last year um, and look forward to going away again this year because um, we are doing the same thing again um, this year um, in October. So, you know, definitely looking forward to to catching up with my scrappy friends and doing lots of um, booking through the week. OK, so. Where am I? So I'm starting to get things stuck down there. I was just trimming off the white borders around some of the ephemera pieces in the Simple Stories collection, only because I'm just not a fan of that really wide white border. It's really personal choice. So I tend to just um, trim it down a little bit and leave just a narrow white border. So I've done that with those sunflowers. And I'm just doing that with the little the scarecrow. And I'm now um, just adding some foam pads to the back. So I'm raising um, the scarecrow up again just to add some sort of some dimension um, onto my layout which I do always add it is something that is pretty normal technique for me is definitely getting di dimension and texture in there now I've got these cute little acorns the two of them but they both say hello so I'm just here now with the large one I'm going to cover up that large hello and I'm just picking out a pattern paper here I think I'm going to go with this orange one yes I am and I'm just it's just an easy way I'm just going to cover it up because I didn't want the repetitive sort of hello twice it didn't really need it and then um, the acorn's quite big so it's perfect actually because I'm going to add my journaling onto that um, later so here we go just making sure it's right just having to trim a little bit off I think and then I can get that layer down with the other elements now, if you haven't, um, you're not a subscriber to Brumble Fox, um, pop on over to brumblefox.co.uk and you'll find all the details for the Bramble Fox subscriptions. There are two options, the Foxbox and the Foxbox Plus. But of course, there's lots and lots of other fabulous goodies in the shop as well. There's lots of new um, perspective sets that are released um, all the time. Um, so I'm sure there's, you know, there's plenty to choose from and um, lots that, I'm, you know, will be perfect for the sorts of scrapbooking projects that you have in mind. OK, so getting those acorns down and now adding these are some of those fussy cut paper snips. So I've got the deer, those trees over there on the left. I've got some of the paper snip phrases. Um, happy vibes. I'm going to bring in lovely autumn as well. And then another one that is sweet. So they're really perfect. I mean, I do love a bit of fussy cutting, to be fair. But, um, you know, they're great to add just that extra detail to your layout. Now, here we go. I think I've got everything pretty much stuck down. I think so. And I just decided I was looking at the um, matching the sticker sheet. And I love this banner here, the bunting. I'm just sort of figuring out I am going to add it down the bottom here. What I did there is I just de-stuck it. I got rid of this sort of stickiness because as I was saying earlier, I like sort of adding dimension. So I tend never to sort of lay things down completely flat. It's quite unusual if I do. So what I did there, I just added some powder to the back of it, took away the stickiness. And then I've just added the glue along the very top edge. And that way you saw I was curling up the little each individual bunting. And I get that. That's where I get that to add dimension. OK, I'm now, I didn't have everything stuck down. So I've got these um, two phrase banners um, here and truly blessed and picture perfect. I'm just getting those stuck down. And then the paper snip, the suite, making sure they're straight. I couldn't possibly have wonky words on my layout. And um, oh, I'm doing um, one of the DIY epoxy flares. So it's just um, the circles on your paper snips, just one inch punch and then layer on the clear epoxy circle over the top and just gives you that little flare. So I've just this cute little two little owls. So it, I've got it over on the right, but actually it does end up over on the left in the end. I sort of move it out of that point. Um, 
So here I've just got a few more little leaves I found in the ephemera and I'm just again trimming around the edges of those and I'm just going to sort of layer those into the, the clusters. And I think, and then I've, oh yeah, again I'm bringing in some of the enamel dots and I'm going to add those around the layer as well. And I'm nearly done actually. Um, I do, I think I add, finish off, fussy cut the, those two leaves there, the extra white, and add those. I add some enamel dots to the top and I add my journaling. And after I finished, I did, oh, there you go. Look, I'm moving the, the, the epoxy dot over to that side. Yep, yep, still deciding. That did go on the left side in the end. And then I'm just going to add some gold splatters, and I do that off camera. So I add gold splatters across the layout, um, across the um, top uh, corner, and then around the embellishment clusters in the bottom. And then I'm I'm done, and I think the close-ups, here we go. Um, there's the final layout. I hope you um, enjoyed the process video. And um, here's some of the close-ups showing you all the fabulous details from the Fox box and the paper snips and the Fox cut stencil. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.